Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing great. It's Koka Manzoor here and I'm going to teach you about accountant in business which is paper F1. Uh, let me first introduce myself. Um, my name is Koka Manzoor. I have a, I'm a PhD scholar. Prior to that I have done MBA and then MS Economics and then MS and now I'm pursuing my PhD. Overall I have 15 years of experience in which uh, from last 10 years I've been teaching uh, in different universities uh, along with that i also do uh, online teaching as well uh, and you can see my youtube channel link there there where you can find around uh, around 200 videos uh, about uh, management marketing uh, finance uh, hr and various other subjects of personal development i also do career counseling and motivational talks and trainings and sessions to the different organizations as well as to the universities uh, i'm a certified trainer of uh, children global network and kasim alisha foundation and Islamabad training and development as well and this is just a brief introduction for more details you can search on the facebook link it's also given on the screen you can see uh, my contact number is also there and email address is also there right so this is just a brief introduction and inshallah i will keep going on so we'll know each other uh, more so once again i welcome you all and uh, let's begin our paper uh, sorry let's begin the uh, discussion on the uh, this paper f1 uh, today we are going to discuss a topic that is macro environment macro economic environment right uh, before starting I always say one thing that please uh, do have your pen and paper with yourself because we are going to discuss so many things which might not be included in the slides so and we might be explaining so many other things with other and other examples and that you may that are very relevant and you it may help you in your exams as well right so do have your pen and paper with yourself and even meanwhile uh, you can ask me if there is any question query, uh, confusion or query right so the topic today is the uh, macroeconomic environment right now let's begin uh, what we are going to discuss in this chapter is uh, these are the list of the subtopics uh, the structure and the objectivity of the economics uh, factors which uh, affect the economy uh, you can say the determination of the national income the business cycle the inflation and its consequences unemployment objective of economic growth uh, government policies fiscal policy monetary policy and balance of payments so these are the topic list along with the reference numbers uh, inshallah we'll see we'll cover all uh, these one by one and hopefully uh, if these are all not covered in this one video so we may have uh, another video uh, to complete this topic as well right so let's begin G. Uh, what is uh, macro environment uh, uh, macroeconomic environment so the first topic was the structure and the objective of the economy so first you need to understand what is macroeconomics macroeconomics is the study of aggregates remember one thing right so since economics uh, is usually divided into two one is a microeconomics with m i c r o right and this is m a c r o macro macro means big macro means large so macroeconomics is a study of economics and economic activities uh, where we are discussing the aggregates right where we are discussing the total it looks uh, at the complete national economy right so what we can discuss in this issue uh, here uh, in, in, in macroeconomics we can discuss uh, inflation we can discuss unemployment we can discuss national income and we can discuss so many other things which are at national level right so we will not discuss the individuals issues here we will discuss the uh, in national economic issues which can affect the individual decisions right like for example if the prices are increasing so ultimately it can affect me as an individual right so this is what macroeconomics is what is it it's study the system as a whole right okay the macroeconomic policy describes what the policies and action government takes to control economic issues including economic growth inflation and employment you see i told you so for making these uh, variables to go in a smooth way government makes the policies which is called as macroeconomic policy so it is not uh, it uh, then it has uh, so many policies like uh, fiscal policy and monetary policy that inshallah we will explain uh, with the passage of time as well right now 
when once this is understood then see how the income is flowing between the uh, two people uh, the, the, in the society right so what there is a circular flow of national income in the economy which means that the expenditure output and the income will have the same level of uh, added, have the same total value what does it mean it means that the income remember this equality right the income of uh, so uh, the expenditure of the one person is the income of another how come like let's suppose if i am a student uh, so i have the expenditure when you pay the fee it's an expenditure right so this uh, um, expenditure this if your expenditure becomes the income of the government right uh, income of the university right and then even university give the salaries to the uh, to these uh, teachers for example so this is the expenditure of the teacher as uh, a university and the income of the teacher so income uh, it is an equality uh, hypothetical equality when we say that the income of one person is the sorry uh, expenditure of one person is the income of another now so for example there are two types of people living in a in a, in organ uh, in a society uh, one is called as household and the other one is called as firms now how the money is flowing between household and the firms now look at this diagram right it will make you more clear you see there are the two types of people there they are, these are the households and there are the firms right now what happens households are providing factor of production to the firm what does it mean factors for example i am a household person so i provide labor to the firms right now what the firms are doing in return firm will pay me the wages right now i provided the services and the firm provided me the wages now with that wage what i'm going to do i will purchase the goods and the services which are produced by the firm right when p when, when the, what the firms are doing firms are producing goods and services right for example it's a shoe making company whatever right so what happens when i uh, get the wages look at here sorry when i get the wages so what i do i will purchase the goods and services from the firm right so a government give uh, sorry the uh, the money which came to the households now going back to the firm right in terms of consumer expenditure and in return they are giving us the goods and services similarly if you have the property as a household and you are giving it on the rental basis to the firm right now what the firm is doing firm is giving uh, sorry uh, you are giving the uh, land to the firm and the firm is giving you the rent with that money again you are buying the goods from the service goods or the services from the firm and you are giving money back to the firm so you see how the money is flowing from household to the firm it goes here and then comes back to this so the, this flow is called as national uh, circular flow of the national income this is basically two sector economy when there are two types of people in three sector and four sector then we have another variable that is called as government as well as the inter external trade as well right so this is what this in the circular flow of national income now let's come to the uh, next topic that is the factor which affect the economy now this and uh, flow of income and the activities of uh, other activities of the economy does not uh, we can say last uh, on a stable basis for a long period of time so the economy is rarely in a stable state right it's rarely why because it keep there are so many factors which keep on affecting right the active economic activities so uh, we have to understand what those factors are and how they are going to affect our economic activities so once the activities uh, once once we understand these um, variables macroeconomic variables so we'll be able to understand that how they are going to affect it so and what will be what will be the effect of those and then how we can or how the government can uh, counter these variables or you can manage uh, these variables so that the uh, economic activities may uh, may go on a smooth basis right so here are the some of the variables mentioned the multiplier effect the inflation the saving interest rate exchange rates and investment level right now let's uh, discuss all these uh, one by one the multiplier now what multiplier is it's very simple you see as the name clarifies multiplies something which multiplies what you see and here you can see an initial increase in the expenditure will have a snowball effect now what is snowball snowball means it keeps on increasing yeah right you see when you are throwing a snowball to another person uh, or when you throw a snowball 
uh, downward to the hill so it keep on rolling and slowly gradually the ball size is getting bigger and bigger so the same case when a government is making the expenditure of one dollar it at the it, it keeps on increasing and it makes or it can have the effect on the national economy economy uh, at multiple times maybe